So, John Depp, welcome back at the Zurich Film Festival. Thank you. Are you happy to be back in Zurich? Oh, yeah, very much, yeah. Very, very, very happy, very much so, yeah. It's, um, it's a place that I've, uh, I've been to two or three times and uh, always felt that uh, just never got enough of it. So you are the producer of Croc of Dawn. Why do you decide to produce a powerful documentary about the French end? Well, uh, sim simply because Shane actually um, kind of agreed to it, you know, he, he, he kind of agreed to it and um, as was my producer Stephen Duder said earlier, um, Shane is like uh, catching a snow leopard, you know, capturing the snow leopard. So uh, uh, Julian Temple uh, had to basically just capture the the true man, which which is, was not an easy film to make. But uh, especially since he's he, Shane is quite guarded at times. So why did I want to do it? I wanted to do it because this is uh, uh, a man that I've known for 30 odd years, uh, who I think is one of the greatest poets uh, that's ever existed, and. Um, I want people to know his words. They're very important. And I love him. I'm sure you have many stories with that chain. And once he told you to ask, can you make a music video urgently? Yes, he did. Can you tell us the story? Yeah, the, uh, I, was, uh, I was in New York City and I was, I was staying at some hotel. And I, I got this phone call from Shane. On a, it was like a Friday, a late Friday afternoon, and he asked me if I wanted to make a video. And I said, sure. I thought he just wanted me to be in it. And he said, okay, great, when can you do it? And I said, well, I don't know, uh, when do you want to do it? He goes, uh, like, not tomorrow, or something like that. I was like, oh, well, okay, oh, sure. And he goes, but I want you to direct it, which was shocking. So, I said, all right, give me a couple of days, let me see what I could do. And I put together a crew in two days, and on the Monday we shot the video. And, uh, and it came out all right, you know. I mean, Shane was pleased, it, ser it served the song, which is, was the whole point, you know. Um, so yeah, uh, it was a great experience. What do you find most fascinating about Shane and his music? Uh, um, what I find most fascinating about Shane and his music is is that it's um, it's it's untouched by impure hands that it's pure that it's honest that it comes straight from his uh, experiences his life his uh, I mean every, everywhere from falling in love with Victoria to uh, to having his teeth kicked in in an alley. Um, Shane is, without a doubt, one of the great poets of, the, of any century. I, I think he's, the, he's a kind of a Francois Villon. I think he's, uh, he's, he's got, most assuredly, Bukowski. I think he's got Brendan Behan. I think he's got James Joyce. I think he's, but I think he belongs in that, in that pantheon. Shane is a, he's a giant of lyric, of literature. And so, uh, yes, we wanted people to see that, you know. So you are a musician yourself? Mm. What do you miss the most about performing live on stage? Well, uh, just that. I miss just that. I miss performing. Um, performing, performing is a strange word. I, I, I miss the... Uh, the, the, the instant uh, connection with the people um, who are who are uh, who are there to share the experience, you know, because there's no band, there's no music, there's no sound if there's no people, right? It's the same in any. You can always bring it back to the people being the ones that are most important, you know. Um, so yeah, I I miss that. The instant connection with people, I miss the, 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 the back and forth, the, the responses, the, yeah, an exchange, it's an exchange of emotions with a, 
a lot of people. And um, yeah, and I'm sure. I mean, after this, the COVID, uh, the horror of this, uh, this uh, plague. You know, um, I don't, I don't, I don't know what live, uh, I don't know what live shows will be like, concerts. That is, I don't know what sporting events will be like. I, you know, it's one of those wait and sees, I suppose. You know, but um, yeah, I do miss it. So we hope to see you again here in Zurich. In Swiss German, we say "Ufitelueke." Ufitelueke. 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 Then we hope to see you again here. Well, in the oh man, I, 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 um, I, I hope that I can. Any time uh, I'm, uh, I'm wanted here, uh, say the word. I'll be. I'll, I'll get here. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Nice seeing you. Thank you. Cheers.